Hello everybody, thank you for joining me, Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue the Batman Telltale series. Cafe Triste. Uh oh, not again. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Oh, same Wait, warrant. Does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? Press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Say, we're gonna trust Mayor Harvey Hill's for now. To screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't hmm. make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Uh-oh. Hey, you. Who's that? Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. Uh, that cat woman? You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. Uh, okay. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Yeah, you bet. I hope you like it. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Uh, oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. Let's be polite for now. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I was huh. angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. <sighs> high risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. Oof We've yeah, got it under right. control. Do you? Uh, yeah. I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Okay. Hey, it's Harvey. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. Nice to meet the real you. You as well. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. <laughs> Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? 
Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Sure. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I, think I have my reasons. Already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. <laughs> you have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working Typical for... Typical woman. <laughs> they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You uh... owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just eh. going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Uh. Better hurry. Everything okay here? Yeah, just being friendly. You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs> Uh, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. Docks. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. All right, back in the suit. What are we going to do? Oh, every time there's a scene like this, it gets a little laggy. Whoa. What happened here? This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. All right, detective mode Go. on. Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Oh, some intestines. What is this? Scorch marks. Analyzing. Triangulating. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Hmm. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Right. Oh. Nothing left to bury. And we got those two. I could link stuff. Is that all that's around? I guess I had to link this stuff. Yeah. 
Interesting. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Huh. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. What is this? A dead mercenary. Oh, a mercenary, not a criminal. I've He's seen these mercenary. outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Dead shot. Let's examine it. Oh. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Now you don't know, man. Well, we might as well open it. Oh, I'm so strong. Hmm. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Hmm. Interesting. All right. What else is there? Pellets. Pallets, not pellets. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Shot cop. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. All right. Anything else? Unscorched area. Something oh, was cracks. here when the explosion occurred. A white rose. White rose. Poison Falcone's Ivy? Falcone's calling card. No? Oh. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. Drones? I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Another dead mercenary. No. That bad? That looks pretty bad. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Skyline Club. And a burnt cop. This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. Wow, that's weird. What did this? Was he shot with a bullet and then it burned from the inside out? Ugh. Uh, how am I supposed to know? Sorry. <sighs> Sensors say it's an incendiary route. I kind of figured. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. All right, what is he? bloody hands? Blood, broken nails. Bits of human flesh. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I think that's all the clues. Blast epicenter. No, that wouldn't match. Explosion. Incendiary bullet. Can we link that to the canister fragment? Is it gonna work? The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. No, not quite. Anyways. Break link. Alright, so someone was clawed. Let's link that to this guy's ripped up face. 
Pop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. Really? God. What Why? Would someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Yeah, there you go. All right, so he's got an incendiary bullet. Chemical explosion. Middle hole in the middle. All the way over to this guy's head. All right. Find a connection. Maybe. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. It's like a big bullet. I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. All right. And then... We still got the guy over here, but there's no link. I guess I have to do these two, because... Is that it? Someone drove off after the explosion. Yeah? Have you put it together? No. Yes. Oh, okay. We did. Someone gonna pop up behind me? Falcone be leaving his rooms oh. here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. All right. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. Boom! This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Oh. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. Ooh. And, and then he got down. shot. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. Interesting. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. All right. Wow, I can support all my weight while I'm trying to grapple up there. Oh. So that thing finally came into use. Both targets could have been shot from here. But the probably no not. Trace. Oh. All right, let's go. I like this one more, the one on the left. Go again, my little drone. Oh, uh oh. Might have found it. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. That's why I went left. Cigarette, huh? Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? He went home. I would assume he went out the window, but I guess not. Trace stops here. Then he did he jump down? Nearby. Found him. He's dead. Time to go to work. World's greatest detective, that's right. My turn. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! Can I punch him in the face? You, you can't make me talk! Ah! 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 
I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face. Oh, oh, maybe not punch him in the face. This is better. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. I ain't scared of you, man. If you're gonna hit me, hit me! <laughs> Tell me! How's my last job? woman supposed to hand over a drive. Had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> Hmm. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Falcone said he'd use them soon! Used where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! Put the arm. You'll never hold a gun steady again. Yay. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Let's talk to him. Now put up your hands. Don't move. Batman. What did you do to him? Don't move. He confessed to everything. It's how you got it I'm worried about. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Gordon. I said silent. If you say another word, I will shoot you. I don't care if half the city thinks you're a hero. Right now, you're a suspect. Shoot me. See what happens. I will. I swear to God I will. You're making a mistake, detective. You want to hear what I have to say. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. I like that. He You're taking his this voice. too far, Bruce. Too far. Much too far. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You hmm. nearly killed updated, a man tonight. Updated codex. No, I didn't. I only broke his arm. Okay, now it's almost Your done. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. So? Uh, so next what? Next time it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this... <laughs> Preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. All right. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Who my parents were, the life they led, Gotham revered them. I could never match that. You won't. You will far surpass them. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. There you go.
That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. Let's hope it drowns me. When you doubt your <laughs> fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Drop him, tear him Neither off. will I. Huh. Nice. It's unlocked. Well, back into the fray again. Uh, let's go to Codex. Let's just start from here. Harvey Dent. New friend. Sees my assets. Uh, there we go. He's too easily swayed by anyone with power, regardless of their murky morality. Hamilton Hill, of course. Catwoman. Her name, her real name is Selena Kyle, of course. Friends with Harvey. She knows I'm Bruce, so I need to be dealt with. Cobblepot. He's back in town. He's targeting uh, Falcone. It's gonna be trouble. Gordon. So he lets me work, regardless of the situation. Maybe I should be a little less aggressive next time, which probably won't happen. Gave her a quote. Falcone. He's got explosives. Gotham City, Arkham Asylum, Wayne Enterprises. Did I miss anybody? No. Alright, what's next? Bad computer. Updated? What does this say? Corruption, rumors, tarnished Wayne family legacy. Batman tangles with masked crook atop City Hall. Yeah, that was the first one. All right, let's go to Bat Computer. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the uh -oh. world was Hill doing with all this? Uh-oh. Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. I want to say some sort of black. see dad's name on any of these documents. I'll run a search, but so far I don't. <sighs> this is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Spider-Man, Tony Gordon. Stark. Oh, He could mobilize right. the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Oh boy. Or who you think could do the most good. Oh no. Oh god, who would I choose? James Gordon for the police force. So I have to help him. Vicky Vale. If you give it to Vicky and she'll release it to the proper channels. Or give it to James Gordon. Oh god, who do I trust? Well, let's see. She's a reporter, Vicky Vale is. And. Uh. She'll probably like me more. James Gordon. You know, let's give it to James Gordon. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman. Through strength. Means necessary. Exactly what I was Whatever thinking. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. Tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes Sp everywhere. Spider-Man. A web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. Not yet. I haven't tried yet. Uh-oh. Alright. Alright. So, before that happens, we're going to end it here. It's got a little more interesting. We decided to decide with James Gordon and releasing the information 
about Falcone's business dealings instead of Vicky Vale. How that will play out, we'll have to see in future episodes. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. I hope you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.